Hey, what's up guys? It's Glenn and today I'm making an outdoor chair using two by fours. So this is one of those projects that wasn't fully thought out. I just had a sketch on paper and I just went to work. I used my miter saw to cut all the sides down for the legs and you can also use a circular saw if you don't have one of those. Now with all the pieces cut, you should have eight pieces for the legs and I ended up with nine pieces for the seat. With some trial and error, I realized if you cut where you want your router blade to stop when you run it through the router table, you would have a less chance of a blowout. Now this notch is only being cut out for the top and the bottom portion of the arm on the 2x4s. I marked the center point for the location of the screws on both ends of the 2x4. And now I came back with a countersink bit to pre-drill the holes. Clamp it down and we can tighten it up by installing the screws. At this point the arms are done for now so it's on to the seat. I placed the 2x4s within the box just to get a general idea where to put the bottom support. And to reduce any splits, I pre-drilled the holes and then installed the screws. The way this chair is designed is suspended by four 6 inch bolts, two at the bottom and two on the back. The bolts for the seats is located toward the front portion of the bench and I'm marking a center point for the bolts to go through. The bolt should pass through this arm and into the seats we just drilled, finished off with a nut and a washer. This is all just a test fit so I can figure out how I want to attach the back. So what I don't know is the proper pitch for a back of a chair or if there's even one. So what I did was angle the chair down and then attach the back. As shown in the video, I marked the pitch of the arm onto a separate piece of wood. The responsibility of this piece of wood is to hold the chair back to the chair bottom. And now to install the second set of six inch bolts that's gonna be holding the back of the chair up. I pre-drilled and installed four three inch screws, two at the bottom and two at the top. Same thing will be duplicated on the opposite side. To attach the top to the back of the chair, I use biscuit joinery and you can also use screws. I just wanted to keep the top clean. These five pieces of two by four is for the bottom of the seat, which I marked, pre-drilled and installed with two inch screws. I use a piece of scrap wood for accurate spacing between each 2x4s. And now on to the back which I left for last because I could not make my mind up how I wanted to join this section together. I was thinking biscuits but I changed my mind and just went the easier route using screws. While installing the back I realized I ran out of 2x4s and before leaving I decided I'm gonna let the top dry before I come back. And I started thinking and overthinking and then I realized I did not like the way the back portion of the arms extended. So during the build, I had a design change. I made the arms shorter and I think it was the right move. I got my wood and now I can finish installing the back before I start the prep work. 
since this is an outside chair, I'm not gonna put too much effort into sanding this. I just wanna make sure that there is no splinters in here and I knocked off any rough edges on the wood. Now to get the stain to take well, I applied pre-stain conditioner before applying the stain. Let it soak in the wood, wipe it off, let the piece dry, and then come back to apply the stain. In the meantime, I'm going to paint the legs. After sitting for about 40 minutes, I applied the stain by a brush and removed it with a rag. I stained the entire bench from the front to back and top to the bottom. This chair won't always have the cushion on it, so it's important for me to make sure I get a good coat of stain on it and have it looking as professional as possible. I gave the stain an entire day to cure and then I came back and I applied two coats of polyurethane. If the screw heads are a nuisance to you, you can add some spackle in the hole, sand it over and apply another layer of paint to make them go away. To reassemble this chair, it's pretty simple. Install the four bolts, two on each side and tighten it up. And here's the finished product of the outdoor chair. This is not meant to be put out in the grass in the weather. It's more so for your patio or your front porch that you wanna just sit back, kick back and relax. Hey, wanna know what I'm up to? Wanna stay up to date with the stuff that I'm building and see sneak peeks of that? And you gotta follow me on Instagram and Facebook. All that's down in the description. Appreciate you guys watching this video. Please leave your comments down below and also give me a thumbs up. This definitely let me know what you guys want to see on the channel and what I should continue making.